Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I rigged the arms that we did the uh, rigging demo with. Uh, in the last video, I showed you, this is the last video, the different types of animations, how they worked. I showed you how to uh, rig with automatic weights, with separate objects, with empty groups, parenting, and then traditional drawing. That was in the last video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got that done. We're going to we're going to get this done, guys. So, let's go ahead and get started. In this scene, I've got uh, a blue uh, grease pencil object. It's just called blue stroke. It's one stroke, one grease pencil stroke, uh, solid. And then in the next object, I have two separate, uh, the upper arm and the lower arm, two separate um, grease pencil objects. This is the red upper or upper arm and the lower arm. As I do here in the green one, I've got two separate objects. We'll be parenting this one. We won't be using an armature on this one, just parenting. And then in this last one, we're going to hand draw traditional frame by frame animation. Now on this one, I did have a uh, yellow one. Uh, and I made it orange. Here it is. This is the orange one. And this is the yellow one. The yellow one is animated still. Uh, and so I went ahead and did a new one. The orange one. That way we can animate the orange one. And I'll show you how I animated that uh, last. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. The blue one. Let's uh, rig this blue uh, grease pencil object again. This is a a one solid object just one object and we're going to deform this object using a rig bones So an armature, so let's go ahead and create an armature. How do you create an ar armature? You I am in object mode go to object mode go to the add menu and add an armature it creates just a single bone and now I'm going to move it to the very top. Remember, this part of the bone is the base. And the other part of the bone is the tip. I'm going to go to edit mode on this bone. Edit mode. And then I'm going to grab just the tip and then move it to about the center. About the center. Because that's where the elbow is. And of course, guys, this could be a leg. It could be a finger, it could be the back, a torso, an arm, whatever you want it to be. Uh, I've got the tip selected of this bone and I'm gonna hit E to extrude and then um, Z to extrude straight down, Z. And then take it all the way to the end. Boom, there it is. Now, now that I've got the armature built, I am going to select the object first and then shift click on the armature. Object first and then armature and then do command P to parent and then we're going to use automatic weights. Automatic weights here. So command P, uh, set parent to the armature deform with automatic weights. What does that do? It creates automatic weights. Now I'm going to show you, if I select this armature, go to pose mode and click on this, um, this one or even this one, I am going to rotate it and you can see that it starts bending and deforming that grease pencil object. Okay, but you can see that it's all messed up. So. If you select the, I'm going to go back to object mode and then I'm going to click on the object and go to weight paint, weight paint. And you can see that uh, it's painted the vertices. Uh, what is red is being controlled by this bone and what is blue, dark blue, is being controlled by this bone. So what I need to do is uh, paint paint it in a way that will 
maximize my influence. In other words, I want this bone to influence these vertices. So if I paint with a zero, with a zero weight, let's see what happens. It turns them to, um, it turns them into blue. But if I paint with a one weight, it turns them into red. So what I need to do is go to the uh, vertex groups. And remember, bone is this first one, and then bone one is this bottom one. So we're in the bone. We're going to sell, we're going to paint the weights for the top half. That means that I I would want this one to be red and this one to be red. All of these to be red, and then crank the weight down to zero. And I want this one to be blue. This one to be blue. Uh, and in fact, you know what? I'm gonna go. I am going to go up one right there. Make sure that all of these are red. And then I'm going to select the second bone and do the same. So the same is um, weight of one to here and weight of zero is, is blue in this case. So I am going to knock it down to here and turn that one red and that one red. And so now I've got these, all these red ones are being controlled by bone one, which is this one. And you can tell which bones they are. Let me go back to object mode. I'm gonna select the armature. And here in the armature, in the dis viewport display, you can click on names. You can see that this is bone and this is bone one. So now let's see how they deform the object. Pose mode, I click on that one and rotate and click on that one and rotate. And you can see that it's a, it's a much nicer bent uh, than what we had a minute ago. And you can see if you, if you cross these two, uh, you're gonna get an error, but uh, just try not to bend it too much and it should work. There you go. Boom, we're done with the first one. Let's work on the second one. Uh, again, the second one, let's go back to object mode. Let's create an armature for this red one add armature and it creates a bone i am going to bring it up to the very top to put the base of that bone on the very top and then go to click on the very tip go to edit mode click on the very tip and then bring it down to about the center while the tip is selected hit e to extrude and then Z to extrude straight down, bring it down, just like we did with this one. Okay, let's go ahead and parent this. Um, right now, if we select the bone, it's not parented. And if we go to pose mode, uh, nothing, oops, nothing has been parented yet. All right, let's go to object mode select the bottom arm the lower arm the upper arm and then the armature and then hit command p and then um, parent with empty groups and if we go to pose mode select the armature only go to pose mode and select this one uh, nothing goes with it it's not controlling anything Neither is this one. We need to select each of the parts and parent them to the vertex group to the armature. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Object mode, let's go ahead and select the bottom, the bottom arm. Let's go to edit mode and select it. Make sure it's selected. And let's go to vertex groups here in the uh, object data properties. And we've got two bones, bone and bone one. And we're going to assign this object to this bone. Assign. 
let's go back to object mode select the top one select the top one go to edit mode make sure it's selected there it is and then let's assign it to bone one the top bone assign so let's go to object mode let's select the um, armature go to pose mode and select this top one and now it's controlling that top arm and then this one is controlling the lower arm that's exactly how I did with empty group so when you parent it it creates an empty group it calls it the name of the bone for example if I select this and you can see that uh, there's two vertex shoot bone one and bone two but in this case this lower arm is being controlled by the the bone one the lower bone okay and this one's the easiest one this one you just select the child first shift select the parent object command p to parent and that's it that's all you need to do keep transform and now that this one uh, is controlling the bottom one but the bottom one can rotate independently that's easy this is the easiest one now for the hand-drawn one the hand-drawn one uh, let's go ahead and turn it on hand-drawn yellow turn it on turn off the orange uh, and you can see that this one has been animated uh, that's cool not a big deal uh, but I am going to hide this yellow one and I'm going to show you uh, that I used this green one and its um, animation as a reference to draw the yellow one the yellow one is right here and I drew that yellow one right on top of that purple one and we're gonna get that done with the orange one with this orange one so I'm gonna turn off the yellow one that's the one we did and I'm gonna show you how I drew this uh, orange one and animated it using the purple as a reference this orange one has no bones no armature no parenting it's hand drawn so let's go ahead and get it drawn guys uh, I am going to select this um, grease pencil object gonna go to frame one and I'm gonna jump two frames to frame three and then I'm going to let me zoom in and then I'm going to adjust so I am going to hit the tab to go to edit mode and then select the vertices and then just move them slightly to match the um, the purple reference now I am going to turn off I am going to turn off uh, the onion skinning I don't need it since I've got the reference video in the back all right let's move two more frames and I can see the purple one back there so I'm gonna draw this next one and I might have to start rotating this just a little bit and I'm gonna move that elbow back see I'm drawing each frame in this case every other frame that's called drawing on twos skip two grab the elbow push it back grab this the, the hand and push it forward and that's what you have to do in a hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation uh, now let's push it and notice that I'm not using the timeline I'm using the dope sheet to create these these keyframes for the line the the black lines and the fills so let's go ahead and do another frame for frame 9 I'm gonna move this over I am going to rotate it a little bit since it's starting to rotate and I am going to um, now edit these vertices individually there boom go another one remember we have to go to frame 25 easy peasy guys not a big deal 
Boom. So I'm drawing this thing frame by frame. And that's what you have to do in a hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation. I'm gonna speed up the video and I'll see you on the other side. And there it is. I am going to hide that purple one uh, that we only used as a reference. And let, let's see the animation. Go back to object mode. And this is the only one animated. We did not create any keyframes for these. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to create that um, rig. But this one has no rig. So there is how I did that. And now that I look at it, I think I forgot to um, rotate this shoulder part, but not a big deal. I can get that done. And there it is, guys. That's how you create the rig for a character. Using this, you can use it for the legs, you can use it for the arms, for the fingers, for the torso, for a lamp, for a door, for a bulldozer, whatever. It doesn't matter. But if you're just gonna draw it, you don't need a rig. Parenting, using bones with separate objects, using bones armature with a complete object. Hey guys, I hope that this has been useful uh, and you liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.